morning everyone this is M I D E A media M A E 50 series washing machine I've had it for over a year and a half definitely close to two years it's a smaller machine um, gonna say closer to I don't know about five gallon uh, container, a little bigger than five gallon maybe, I don't know. It's, it's not much bigger. I don't think it's a 10 gallon. Let's put the power on. And you got different settings here, if you would like. You have temperature settings, it says cold, hot, and then both will go on for warm. Put it on warm. You have other settings here. I'm looking at it the wrong way. Program, excuse me. You have a delay. I don't use it today. You have load size, large, and you have a start and a pause button here. And you have different other functions here where you just want to wash, rinse, or spin. So it's a really nice little guy. And it's going to start hopefully in a few seconds. Yes, it's going to fill up first. Pretty quiet. Uh, it's very small, very compact. Mm, let me see if I can get a ruler real quick and measure it. I think without measuring, just eyeballing it, it's about 22 inches long and about 20 inches wide. So it isn't exactly a very big guy. A little tall, uh, about 36, about less than 40 inches tall about 39 inches a little less than 40 inches tall got mine from walmart i think i paid 259 for it and of course it came with a dent on the side <laughs> typical walmart but it has never let me down does not wash a comforter uh, you might be able to get a twin size in there <laughs> uh something that isn't very thick but well, other than that, it's not going to take it. It does not have a center agitator. It uses jets on the side to move the clothing around and goes back and forth. I'm hoping you're going to see that in a few seconds when it fills up. I'm just putting up this video because the machine does work very good. For the $259, having it over a year and a half and not giving me any hiccups. Not having to call any service personnel to look at it, uh, see if there's any issues. It's been really, really nice. So I've been very happy with the machine despite coming with a dent on the side for Walmart. Uh, could have been from loading or moving it around. It's on the other side so you guys can't see it over here. <laughs> um, very nice, simple, clean uh, look to the machine. Very functional. Cleans as good as any machine with a center agitator without it using the jets. I can tell you that right now. I have no issues with the way it actually does my laundry. It does a good job. The worst I've ever done trying to beat it up was put uh, five pair of shoes in there, boots and everything, <laughs> without any clothes. They're kind of banging against each other, banging against the drum. Um, I've heard it knock a few times. Uh, on the rinse or the spin cycle. I'm gonna see if I can move the camera up a little bit for you guys so you can get a better look. So it's gonna take a few seconds, sorry. And I'm gonna angle it down. Hoping you guys can see the way it moves the clothes around. Once you pack the clothes in lightly and you fill it up, uh, the water tends to compress the clothes a little bit and that helps it work really, really good. Uh, it's definitely bigger than, it needs more water, so it's, gonna fill, it's definitely bigger than a five gallon, maybe it's eight gallons, I, I don't know. But it, I don't think it's 10 gallon. Hoping you guys got a sufficient idea of the machine. It comes very highly recommended for myself. Despite I'm not a uh, <laughs> avid reviewer of uh, washing machines, the hookup was very easy. It did come with two hoses in the back. You guys can see my hand, but you can't see the hoses there. 
Oh, they're back here. So this would be where the hoses are at right here. I do have a washer hookup uh, in my place, so that was nice that they provided that. Also with a washer drain. The drain itself is kind of small. It's not the additional size, inch and a half. It's about three quarter inch drain. Hoses about uh, half inch uh, hoses with uh, looks like three quarter inch hookup for both the washer hookup and the back of the washing machine. They are plastic where they mount to in the back over here, but I haven't had any issue. They have some notches here so you could actually hand tight it if you'd like to on both sides. And the hoses are a little bit curled up over here because I didn't need them fully straight. So that's why they kind of curl that way just to compress some room here. There is a, a door in the back can be taken off for service, so that's nice. I've never had to do anything to the machine, so that's even nicer. <laughs> and I don't know what else to say for the video. If I had to go, I would probably go a hair larger next time. It has served me and my wife very well. And we do have laundry facilities here on site where we live. So we can always take our comforters over there if we need to. But for daily, day-to-day -day use, we must use this machine two to three times a week, two and a half times a week on average for over a year and a half. And again, no hiccups. So very highly recommended. Hope you guys enjoy yours, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.